सो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस ऑफ्थलमोलॉजी नगेट सेशन विद इन टेन टू फिफ्टीन मिनट्स आई वुड बी कवरिंग अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर योर नीट पी जी सो आई एम डॉक्टर विनीत सहगल योर ऑफ्थलमोलॉजी एजुकेटर यू कैन सब्सक्राइब फॉर द अन अकेडमी लर्निंग एप देर इज लॉट्स ऑफ कोर्सेज विच आर गोइंग ऑन एंड द नेक्स्ट कोर्स इज ऑन द अपकमिंग बैचेज फॉर नीट पी जी एग्जाम विच हेज स्टार्टेड फ्राम फोर्टीन जनवरी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन यू कैन जस्ट सब्सक्राइब विद माई कोर्स डॉक्टर विनीत टेन टू गेट द टेन परसेंट सब्सक्रिप्शन सो uh basically i am coming back to my topic today that is astigmatism now what is actually a uh, astigmatism so astigmatism is a type of refractive error okay like myopia or hypermetropia astigmatism is also a refractive error what is the difference between the astigmatism and a normal refractive error like a myopia or a hypermetropia that the refraction let's say minus 2 plus 2 minus 3 plus 3 so this refraction varies in different meridian okay so meridian means various axis so horizontally there may be different refractive error and vertically there may be different refractive error okay so this is the basic meaning of the astigmatism now there are two types of astigmatism one is a regular astigmatism and other is a regu irregular astigmatism now what is the difference between the regular and irregular astigmatism so in regular astigmatism the refractive power changes uniformly from one meridian to another now i would just give you an example here that let's say this is with the rule astigmatism if you can see this is your vertical meridian and this is your horizontal meridian okay so we have one power in the vertical meridian let's say we have minus 3 and we have other power in the horizontal meridian that is plus 2 now this is called with the rule astigmatism the other type of astigmatism is called against the rule astigmatism so in against the rule astigmatism you have plus 3 power here and you have minus 2 diopter power here okay this is just an example which i am giving you about with the rule and against the rule astigmatism now what is the oblique astigmatism okay oblique astigmatism means that the vertical and the horizontal meridian okay can you see the this is your vertical meridian this is your horizontal meridian now we know that they the vertical and horizontal meridian they are at 90 degree and 180 degree is it clear now similar in oblique astigmatism these two axes okay let's say this is minus 3 this is plus 2 diopter they are also at 90 degree okay like your with the rule and against the rule but the problem with the oblique meridian are they are not at 90 and 180 okay so yes the the angle between them is 90 degree but they are not horizontal and vertical they are oblique then we have the next type of astigmatism which is called bi oblique astigmatism in bi oblique astigmatism what happens is if you can see in this picture you have two meridians let's say this is meridian a and this is meridian b now this a and b they are not at 90 degree to each other so i write it here they are not at 90 degree to each other this is called bi oblique astigmatism okay so these are the types of regular astigmatism now you would ask me sir what are the various causes of astigmatism so the causes of astigmatism can be first thing is that our corneal curvature is like that okay so the patients or any person who is born would have some natural amount of astigmatism because your diameter of your horizontal surface and the vertical surface of the cornea is different so this causes a corneal astigmatism sometimes this astigmatism can be caused by the lenticular changes or the lenticular shape also and sometimes even your macula is at an axis to where it should be so this is called retinal astigmatism so we have three types of the causes for the regular astigmatism it can be a corneal regular corneal curvature 
it can be lenticular astigmatism and it can be your retinal astigmatism now what is the most common type of corneal astigmatism the most common sorry the most common type of regular astigmatism the most common type of regular astigmatism should be your corneal astigmatism okay so now comes the point that i told you the types when i told you about the types of retinal astigmatism now what is with the rule and against the rule astigmatism now we have i told you a horizontal curvature and a vertical curvature if this is my vertical meridian and this is my horizontal meridian okay if my vertical meridian i write it as vm is more curved okay more curved you can say more myopic then your horizontal meridian i call it with the rule astigmatism is it clear so with the rule astigmatism if let's say minus power minus power is always myopic okay plus power this is hypermetropic okay so you have your vertical meridian more curved as compared to your horizontal meridian this is called with the rule astigmatism okay now i would just give you an example here so the retinoscopy value of a patient is given below identify which type of astigmatism it is this type of questions can be asked in your exam now in this question if you can appreciate you have minus 3 diopter in your vertical meridian and minus 1 diopter in your horizontal meridian you can just remember a mnemonic vardhaman mahavir medical college vmmc vertical meridian more curved this is with the rule astigmatism okay so in this case because vertical meridian is more myopic than your horizontal meridian so i say this is a type of with the rule astigmatism okay let's have another example where you have minus 2 diopter in your vertical meridian and minus 3 diopter in your horizontal meridian okay so in this case your horizontal meridian is more curved than your vertical meridian so this is against the rule astigmatism so remember whenever there is more myopia in the axis this means that this axis is more curved okay so this is against the rule astigmatism let's see another example we have a plus 2 diopter in the vertical meridian and we have a minus 3 diopter in the horizontal meridian so where should be what should be the answer here is it with the rule or against the rule astigmatism so this is also a against the rule astigmatism now why this is against the rule because if you can appreciate minus 3 diopter is more myopic okay as compared to your vertical meridian which is hypermetropic okay so it is very clear that we have to see the myopia we do not have to see the hypermetropia when we are deciding about the curvature okay or the, how much is the curving so this is also against the rule astigmatism now we have another another example where we have minus 2 diopter in the vertical meridian and plus 3 diopter in the horizontal meridian so what is this type of astigmatism if you can appreciate minus 2 diopter this is myopic okay and plus 3 diopter this is hypermetropic now always think about the m that is the myopic even numerically if plus 3 is more you are having more hypermetropia still you have to see which meridian is more myopic because the vertical meridian is more myopic that's why this is also with the rule astigmatism okay definitely dr ryan this is a mixed astigmatism but if they ask about with the rule and against the rule this is with the rule astigmatism okay then we have this question where we have the same refractive error in both the meridians so what is this type of astigmatism or is it an astigmatism or not so remember when you have the same power in both the meridian this is not an astigmatism this is just a low myopia okay this is not an astigmatism astigmatism is defined when we have different power in different meridian okay the next thing comes what is the simple complex and mixed astigmatism another classification of astigmatism so they can give you 
the ray diagrams like this let's say this is a vertical meridian and this is your horizontal meridian okay so vertical meridian is basically focusing on the retina and the horizontal meridian is focusing in front of retina okay so whenever there is a ray which is focusing at front of retina this is myopic and whenever a ray which is focusing behind the retina then it is hypermetropy now how to classify these type of astigmatism okay so the first is called simple myopic astigmatism so in simple myopic astigmatism you can see that one ray is focusing on the retina and the other ray is focusing in front of retina okay so this is called simple myopic astigmatism the other category is a compound myopic astigmatism what happens in a compound myopic astigmatism that one ray is both the rays are focusing in front of retina so i write it here f1 and this is f2 both f1 and f2 are focusing in front of retina so this is a compound myopic astigmatism similarly we can have a compound hyperopic astigmatism so in a compound hyperopic astigmatism if you can see both the rays are focusing behind the retina okay so b1 and b2 both the rays are focusing behind the retina so this is a compound hyperopic astigmatism then we can have a simple hyperopic astigmatism also so what happens in a simple hyperopic astigmatism that one ray is focusing on the retina okay let's say this is the ray of horizontal meridian and the vertical meridian is focusing behind the retina okay so this is a simple hyperopic astigmatism then we have the next type of astigmatism where one ray is focusing in front of retina and other ray is focusing behind the retina okay in this case when one ray is focusing in front of retina and other ray is focusing behind the retina this type of astigmatism is called mixed astigmatism okay so this is the major types of astigmatism and their their classification now you would ask me sir if there is an astigmatism what is the option for the patient now this can be asked for the third year students in their viva so correction first of all you can give it with the help of spectacles okay so in spectacles you have the cylinders which you give and with the help of cylinders you can basically correct the astigmatism now how would be the cylinders given this you have to know now if the patient is let's say having a minus 2 diopter in the vertical meridian and zero diopter in the horizontal meridian okay so this is a retinoscopy value which is myopic at 90 degree so whenever i have to give correction to this patient i would basically give a concave glass okay or i would give a concave cylinder and this cylinder which i have to give should be given 90 degree okay or perpendicular to the axis which has to be prescribed okay what is the axis here 90 degree so i would give minus 2 diopter cylinder at 180 degree to this patient okay so this is the rule of prescribing glasses to a patient with astigmatism okay so similarly the second type of correction which that we can give in the patient is contact lenses okay so the contact lenses which we give to these patients these are called toric contact lenses okay they are also prescribed in the same manner as the spectacles are prescribed just remember these are called toric contact lenses third we can do a refractive surgery in these patients also so some students ask me that sir can the lasik be done in the patients who are having a astigmatism so definitely lasik phacic iols they all can be done and they basically reduce the astigmatism and give a very good quality of pay vision to these patients okay so these are some important topics that you have to remember regarding the astigmatism hope you would have liked the session please subscribe for the channel and in the comment section if you want more topics small short topics for 10 minutes you can put it in the comment section i would take it in the go in this month of january let's crack it subscribe for the channel with my code that is dr vinit 10 and jai